Hello, hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to make a food truck website. The platform that we'll be using to create our website is Wix Website Builder. The reason why I recommend Wix is it is beginner friendly, easy to use, and you can also get started for completely free. So you're going to go onto Wix.com, then from there, you're going to tap on Get Started. And you'll be prompt to enter your email address or you can choose to sign up with your Google account or Facebook account. Once you have created your account, I want you to tap on create new site. Then from there, you'll be redirected to a new page. And you're going to tap on set up without chat. After selecting set up without chat, you're going to tap on the search bar and you're going to type in food truck. So you can type that in right there and you can select it. By the way, you can see different subcategories that you could choose from. So for example, you have gar garment food truck, burger, sandwich, dessert food truck, Indian food truck, Caribbean food truck, all different type of options that you could choose from to be even more specific. So we're just going to select general food truck, then we're going to tap on continue. After selecting continue, you will be redirected to your dashboard. Once on your dashboard, you can now enter in your business name. So we'll just leave it or admit it. I'll type in food truck right here. Then tap on continue. Then from here, you can see the different suggested apps. So we have the restaurant menu app, which we would definitely need, the food orders app, and also the table reservation app. If there's any other app that you would like to add, for example, the blog app and you would like to write content, you can do that. You can also scroll down and from there you could also add the Instagram feed, which would allow you to display your pictures and videos from Instagram if you want. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on continue, then select continue to dashboard. After selecting continue to dashboard, you'll be redirected to your Wix dashboard. Once on the Wix dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on restaurant menu. After selecting restaurant menu, from here you can customize your menu. So at the moment, this is how the menu looks. So for example, we could tap on edit menu details and you could change the name of the menu or you could tap on manage and then from there you can see appetizers mains and by scrolling down you can see desserts right there and drinks you could use this layout if you want all you need to do to edit it is simply hover over the section you like to change then tap on edit from there you can change the name and you can also change the label then you could tap on modifiers and you could add a modifying group or you can tap on ordering and leave it as is so all you need to change basically is just the info right there so you'll change the name and the title and also enter in your price and you could change the image right there, then tap on save. And I would recommend that you use this layout going right down. Once you're finished, after you have entered in your menu, you'll go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on getting paid. Then you'll tap on connect payment method and depending on the country you're located in, you'll see different payment options. So for example, I'm located in Jamaica, so I'll be able to offer Tilopay, PayPal, and if I were to tap here, I'll see other payment options. But if I were to change my location to, for example, sake, let's say Canada, so if I were to type in Canada right here, you'll realize that we're now presented with a whole different list of payment options. I'll be able to accept payments using Wix, the Wix platform, I can also tap on see more payment option. I can connect Square, I can also connect Afterpay, Alipay, Payful, Kalarna, and so much more. So, as I said, it varies depending on the country you're located in. Once you have set that up, all you'll need to do now is tap on set up in the top left hand corner. Then you're going to tap on design site in the top right hand corner and you're going to tap on pick a template. Once you have tapped on pick a template, you can see different templates that you can choose from. So you can scroll down till you have found a template of your liking. Normally I would select one of the best matches. So we're going to tap on edit. Then you'll just give it a few seconds while your website is loading up. 
And there is also a quick disclaimer that I should tell you, depending on the payment option that you have chosen, otherwise any other payment option from PayPal, you will need to go onto the Wix paid plan. But the Wix paid plan is quite affordable and definitely worthwhile if you are looking to create a business website. So I would definitely recommend that you sign up to the Wix paid plan and give it a try. You can see our website is loading up in the background. Once it is ready to go, we'll continue with the tutorial. Once it loads up, you'll tap on the X to close the pop-up box. Then you're going to tap on the plus 50% in the top right hand corner. Now this is how our website looks at the moment. To make any changes, you can simply tap on quick edit in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you could change the text that is currently there. You can also tap on this section and you could change the background image by tapping on quick edit. You could tap on change and you could change the image to whatever you want. You can change the title and you can also change this section. Then scrolling down, you could change this image. So for example, if you are not planning to sell burgers, you can tap on change and you could change the image to whatever you want. You can also change the current locations that are there, which more than likely you're going to be changing that. And you can scroll down and continue changing each section. If, for example sake, you would like to add a text box to a particular section that you don't see one, you could go over to the top left hand corner, tap on add elements, then let's say for example we'd like to add text right there, you could drag and place the text box right there, and it's as easy as that. Once you have added the text box, you'll tap on edit text and you can type out the text that you would like to add. It's as easy as that to add an element that you don't see. Whether it is text, picture, music, anything at all, you'll find it in the top left hand corner after tapping on add elements. And to view all the pages on your website, you'll tap on home in the top left hand corner. Then from there, you can view the menu and you can see all of the different pages that are currently on your website. So for example, this is our menu page at the moment. You can see how it looks right there. Once everything is to your liking, you're going to tap on publish in the top right hand corner for your website to go live and that's it. So you can see how it would look right there and again you can see that it creates a very professional looking website and if you would like to offer numerous payment options I would recommend that you tap on upgrade now and from there you'll be able to offer different price points. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thanks for watching.